folks, Josh here. Just wanted to do a quick setup and breakdown of the Lone Rider Adventure Tent. Uh, I had a little bit of time to play with it and uh, test it out for a few days on the California BDR with a few buddies. But I'm just going to keep it pretty pretty simple, pretty quick. Just show, set up, break down, maybe a couple little tips, tricks here that I kind of picked up along the way. But uh, here we go. So it comes in this dry bag. It's kind of like a ripstop material. It's waterproof. And it's just a, just a roll bag. Stuff's in there. Rolls it up. It has a couple loops. And it has some retention straps for, to strap down and tighten the bag. So that's that. I've used this already, so I already have everything set up kind of initially how I'd want it to just sort of roll out and lay out and just be ready to go. I have the tent portion. It's already close to sort of attached to the to the to the ground tarp. The ground tarp they give you actually has an SOS <laughs> on the on the bottom of it so I guess if you ever needed to lay out an SOS sign uh, somebody up high can see it. So that's uh, actually included as part of the, the waterproof ground tarp that's included with it. So I already have it set up where it'll just fold right out. All I'll have to do is stake the ends in and I'll get the pole set up. This ground is pretty hard so I'm not gonna really bother with staking too hard into it right now. So this will actually come with these little sort of aluminum stakes, kind of a standard one you'd see in most most uh, tents. I actually went to the hardware store and bought something a little bit, a little bit more heavy duty, just for just preference. If that's something you want to do. Now that I got the corner staked out, uh, this is pretty much the gist of the tent. I'm gonna get the poles set up. Like I said, I've used them already, so I have them set up in a sequence to where I could really just throw the poles out, and it'll kind of line up in line. When you first get it, you know it's kind of it's kind of cumbersome a little bit to sort of figure out how it goes together, but once you've done it once or twice, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy, so. Next thing I want to do is you want to start with one side, so I'm going to get two of the corners in on one side, I'm going to push the rest and kind of it's going to create a bow and then I'm going to get the other two into its into its other side. Go just a push. Now this swivels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swivel this down and I'm going to put it into the holes in the corner. So each one of these corners, I'll get a close up look. I'll show you the corners. They're kind of a kind of a metal tab with a hole in it. And you're just going to put the corners of the poles into the hole. There we have it, there we have our main structure. These little cross members right here. We're gonna hold the ends of the tent. I'm gonna go ahead and start clipping the tent into this, and then the tent's gonna suspend from this chassis. Next part I'm going to get to is the cross members here. So on the edges of the tent, there's these little aluminum tabs, like little red tabs with a hole in it. And I'm just going to put the end of the tent pole into it. On the other side, same thing. I'm going to keep tension on this. Bend it down a little bit, give myself some slack, and put it into the hole on the back side. And there it is. I mean, that's pretty much the base of the tent right there. Uh, you can see it's it's pretty, it's pretty vented, pretty well vented in this setup. We're gonna go ahead and put the fly or the cover on top. So as I mentioned before, I like to have it sort of staged up, ready to just pull right over. And I'll show you how it mounts up. Just wanna make sure the doors are lined up on both sides to this chassis right here. So I already have it kind of set up that way so it'll just simply go on. So what you wanna look for underneath this portion where the door is, right at the top of the door, there's another one of these little red rings, just like the one on the tent, on the base of the tent here. I'm gonna put that in the same exact spot on these cross members. The other side of the door gets suspended the same way. Put it on there, 
Then just go do the same on the other side and it'll pull this taut. Have to get both sides hooked up, you can go ahead and let it down. Next part you want to start getting in on the corners of this fly, there's a another one of those little little tabs that hooks to the corners of the corners of the poles um, at all four corners of the tent here. So you want to take this. This has a little buckle with a little bit of a, a like a little bit of a tensioner here, so you can make it tighter or looser as as you feel. So start off loose, so you can get it around the edges of the poles, and then tighten it up to tighten up the fly. Next segment I want to do is I want to stake down the vestibule or the doors. So there's two cords essentially, one for the, the door, one for the actual wing of the vestibule. Go ahead and try to stake that down. This ground is a little hard, so I'm just going to sort of tack it in really lightly. And there we have it. That's kind of the gist of it right there. There's a couple guidelines I'm not going to bother putting out there. You can put them up if you want. There's a couple of vents on the side. I'll do kind of a walk around and show you sort of what it looks like all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and open up the doors and show how that rolls up. We've got a couple little retention straps here. So right now I can open up this side, I can open up the other side, and I can get air passing through the middle of this thing. Kind of keep your little vestibules open. Nice thing about these these little vestibules is you can, you know, maybe put put your gear bags or something in the corners if you don't want to have it inside the tent or your or your riding boots or something, you know, whatever, and it'll stay fairly secure under this. If you want to take the doors or the vestibule and wrap this up, you can do that as another retention strap right here to hold that back. So you can actually hold all the wings of the doors all the way around on both sides completely open. All right, we're gonna go handheld mode. And so, let's get down in there. It's not too crazy in the way. And you can see, nice protective area, inner hanging chassis. Uh, there is, it comes with a, a little, little hang net up here to kind of put some things, the lights or whatever. You know, if you've got a Lucy light, you can hang it up in there, phone, uh, whatever little stuff up in the hang net. But when you close it up, it's actually, actually, it actually gets warm pretty quick. So we have some options. Thing right here, and this is the little, it's kind of like a little post. That you can actually hold that vent open. So it's the exact same thing on both sides. So you can put gear there, there, on the other side. And it's the same equal kind of doors. Here's some extra guidelines that I just don't really don't really fool with. Keep it tucked up in there. So same thing on this side. A little, a little pole to hold that air vent open. And then uh, you can pull that out. Let's take it down if you want. Got some extra guidelines on the sides too for just rigidity if it's a super windy day or something. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break this thing back down and just try to do it as quick to real time as I can uh, to give you a gauge of sort of how long it takes to, to fold up and everything. And we'll see how I do.
something I like to do is in reverse. I'm going to actually keep this in sort of a sequence so when I unpack the thing and I'm ready to go again, I can just string it out uh, really quickly. So, start off with the ends. All right, now I'm ready to fold this up. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can either, I like to again, leave things in sequence. So you can either take this and lay it across and fold this in, tri-fold it on itself, or just uh, do, the, do the ground tarp and the base of the tent first, and then lay this across it. So I prefer to just tri-fold the, the base of the tent and then just lay the, the fly across it and then just roll. ready to stuff it in the sack. Something I wanted to show on a close-up here. So these are the corners of the fly. And these are those let's focus here. These are those little tabs that the ends of the poles will go into. And then this is the corners of the ground tarp and the tent itself. They have these little rings in them. So you just kind of line those up. Then you just put the, uh, the ends of the main poles in through that. There we go. Did a good enough job rolling this up. This will go in there nice and easy. Falls right in. The air out. Put this together. If I want to I can Cinch it down with the cinch straps here. And it's got loops when you put it on your bike or however you're going to stow it. But uh, that's the gist of that. Lone Rider Adventure Tent.